If you're hoping to gain financial freedom through property investment, your journey is going to be a long one. And over the next 10 to 15 years, you're likely to encounter some good economic times and some tough ones, some periods of high low interest rates and spells of low interest rates, booms in the property markets and slumps. And one day we're going to have another recession and maybe even a depression one day. If the last few years have taught investors anything, it's to expect the unexpected. That's why I suggest you should prepare for the worst while hoping for the best. In other words, maximize your upside while at the same time covering your downside. Some ways you can prepare for the inevitable storm ahead is as follows. First of all, correct asset selection. To see you through the ups and downs of the economic and property cycle, you need to own the type of properties that are strong and stable. By strong, I mean your property should outperform the averages and increase in value at wealth producing rates of return. By stable, I mean the value of your property shouldn't fluctuate much when the property cycle slumps. That's why you must only in own investment grade properties, the type that will be in continuous strong demand by a wide demographic of owner occupiers, and one that's going to be situated in one of Australia's big capital cities, because these are the locations underpinned by multiple pillars of economic support. It's what I call investing in deep markets, locations where there is significant turnover of properties because there's always a large number of owner occupiers wanting to buy and sell, as well as people upgrading and downgrading their homes. This is very different from owning a property in a location where there are a few buyers and at times it's hard to sell even at a bargain price, you know, like the mining towns. The lesson from all this is if you own the right type of property in the right location, it's less likely to be volatile. There will always be tenants and if the price is the price is likely to be more stable. Even at the worst times, after the global financial crisis, there were buys for well-located properties in all our major capital cities, because even though the market slowed, people were still getting married, getting, having jobs, getting divorced. Um, life was moving on for them. The next lesson is, as your portfolio grows, it makes sense to own properties in various states, diversify, so that when one market is flat, you're going to benefit from the growth of properties in another state. It's also worth remembering that at the slump stage of the property cycle, when fewer people are buying properties, more people are renting. And this usually increases rentals and is good for your cash flow. So don't speculate or overcommit financially. That's another lesson to take into account. The next lesson is don't speculate or overcommit financially. That's enough said. Another lesson is, of course, having a financial buffer. Rather than gearing to the max, strategic investors have a buffer for emergencies to buy them time to ride through the storms. Another strategy I'd recommend is not paying down your mortgage on your home or your investment property, but instead maybe make it an interest-only loan and place the balance, the extra money you're saving, into an offset account. It's got the same net effect as paying down your interest, but if you need the funds, you can always redraw them. And if you're currently in the position that you've got a bit of equity in your property, you're already ahead of the game. Maybe it's time to establish a line of credit and use your existing equity. In fact, I'd go as far as to suggest you should draw as much equity as you can from the bank and stash it in a line of credit or something like that as a buffer for a rainy day. Of course, when you build a buffer, one of the beauties is you are financially prepared uh, when everyone else is putting the brakes on and the competition in the housing market dries up. So you're going to be in a position to nab an opportunity when they, they abound by using some of your line of credit or the funds in your offset account as the deposit for your next property. Remember, you need to be proactive with your financial strategy and be in control of your situation before things turn sour. By doing so, you're going to ensure you remain sheltered from the storms ahead and avoid the panic that many are going to feel when one day, once again, the local or the global financial circumstances change. If you want to set yourself up to weather the financial storms ahead, or if you want somebody to review your current property portfolio, why not have a chat with the team at Metropole? Our property strategist or our wealth advisory service will help you make sure that you're going to be prepared for the inevitable storms.